Hello everyone, welcome back to Sunday School. We're going to continue Sunday School on YouTube for a while. Today we're starting a new series called Journey with Joseph. The story is found in the first book of the Bible, in Genesis. A man called Jacob lived in the land of Canaan. He had 12 sons, but his favourite son was Joseph. Jacob gave Joseph a special coat and when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than them, they hated Joseph. One night, Joseph had a dream and when he told his brothers the dream, they hated him even more. Joseph dreamt that they were out in the fields tying up sheaves of corn when suddenly his sheaf rose up while his brother's sheaves bowed down. To his. Then Joseph had another dream. He told his brothers that in this dream the sun, the moon and the stars all bowed down to him. The brothers said to Joseph, do you actually think you will rule over us? These dreams that Joseph was having weren't ordinary dreams. They meant something because they came from God. God was telling Joseph that he had a plan for him. One day, while the brothers were out grazing their sheep, their father sent Joseph to see if all was well with the flocks. The brothers saw Joseph coming in the distance and they plotted to kill him. But the oldest brother, Reuben, convinced them not to kill him, but to put him down a well instead. So they took his special coat and they threw Joseph down an empty well. Poor Joseph, he hadn't done anything wrong, but his brothers hated him. While the brothers were sitting down to eat, they saw a group of Ishmaelites on their way to Egypt to sell their goods. The brothers decided to make some money and sell Joseph to the Ishmaelites. So they lifted him out of the well and they sold him as a slave. Then they killed a goat and put its blood on Joseph's special coat. They took the coat back to their father and they showed it to him. Jacob was very, very sad. He thought a wild animal must have killed Joseph. The brothers didn't tell him the truth. But God was with Joseph. He wasn't killed by a wild animal or his brothers. He was still alive. Although things weren't looking too good for him as he was on his way to Egypt as a slave. If you trust God as Joseph did, no matter what happens in your life, both good and bad, God will be with you. We'll find out next time what happens to Joseph when he reaches Egypt. We're going to have one memory verse throughout this story of Joseph, so hopefully by the last part of the story you will be able to remember it. The verse is, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. It's found in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20a. Can you say it with me? After two. One, two. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20a. Well done. Let's close our eyes and pray to God. Dear Lord, thank you that no matter what is happening in our lives, if we trust in you, you will be with us every step of the way. Amen. Our song today is Our God is a Great Big God. Have fun singing along and doing the actions.